Hi, my name is Jason. Welcome to another video where I show you how to paint a mountain reflected in a lake using acrylic paints. I originally did this video live on Facebook on Friday, April 26th, 2019. This version you're about to see is recorded in hyperlapse. It'll provide a lot of detail, but in a really quick time. Now I'm about to flash the colors that I used. When it cuts to the actual video, in a few moments, after you see these colors flash before you, you'll see that I have a canvas with a sketch already on it done in phthalo blue. I freehanded that sketch. It didn't take me long at all, but that's where the video is going to go ahead and cut in. So we've now seen our catalog of colors concluding with crimson, and now we'll begin. So I apologize for the shadow at the bottom, but uh, the first thing I do is go ahead and put in a sky. I have to do it very quickly because acrylics dry fast. And this sky was just done using a mixture of phthalo blue and titanium white. The next thing that I'm going to put in will be clouds. And while the paint is still wet, I just go ahead and place in some titanium white and fluff it out with this fan brush. Finally, I go ahead and take that blue color, darken it a little bit more with some additional phthalo blue, and put it into the lake. The next thing I do is I mix my mountain base colors using black, phthalo blue, crimson, and a touch of white. I use this flat edged fan brush to go ahead and put in some very sharp edges at the top, tracing them all the way down and then pulling that paint downwards until it fades to almost nothingness. I use a bigger brush to go ahead and flatten out that paint, smooth out any globs that might have developed. Now I'm cleaning up and sharpening the top. Then I eyeball where the peaks are in the uh, lake reflection and go ahead and put that paint in there. It's okay that it's not the exact same consistency as above because it is after all in water. And then finally I go ahead and use that same color to fill in the shoreline. Now I mentioned earlier that I left some blank spots here under the mountains and now I'm about to go ahead and mist those in. Just using some white and fluffing it and swirling it out until it's virtually nothing. Then I duplicate that in the reflection of the mountains. The next step is to prepare colors to do the low lights and the highlights. So as you just saw, I'm getting together some blue to mix it with some white and a touch of black to dull it. I use my palette knife and to go ahead and start putting in these shadows on the left side of these particular mountains. I pull it very gently. And if you want to see that in greater detail, watch one of my real-time videos and you can see how it's done. Now I go ahead and do the highlights using the same motion but on the other side using titanium white dulled with just the slightest touch of black. The next step is to go ahead and duplicate that, at least an approximation of it, in the water. Since I already had white paint going, that's why I did that first. And now I'm finishing it up with blue, my shadows. The next step is to make our happy little trees. So I'm mixing up some more color, adding yellow, black, and blue together. And I'm going to take that with a fan brush and just place trees all along this coastline. What's most important here is the tops, not really the bottoms. And as you can see in the foreground, I'm going ahead and putting in one evergreen with a friend. And then finally, I complete that by pulling those trees down into the water. Finally, I add some color and some highlight to the shoreline with that green color and some yellow. And then I go into the water and start putting in ripples. I put the white in with my knife and then I pull it down and pull it across using a fan brush. 
giving the illusion of a watery surface. And finally, after I sign it, we've got a beautiful painting. This is what I'm really happy with and one I can teach. And I think it's something the students will be really proud of. This one took a little bit longer than I had intended. My goal time was 45 minutes. This was 50. But I think I can cut that back. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. And if you like it, please let me know. And if there's anything that you would like to see in the future, let me know that too. And as always, thanks for watching. I wish you the best day and happy painting.